Hey folks, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Bracken. And I'm Lindsay, and this is Tiny Notes from Home. We hope to challenge, encourage, and inspire you on your journey with Jesus, for He is the way, the truth, and the life. On our journey this week, we are going to reveal to you, finally, our master bedroom renovation. And we're going to share with you our thoughts on Sabbath rest. In case we're just meeting for the first time, we're the Kirkland family. We have six boys. We're renovating a 100-year-old farmhouse in the mountains of Western North Carolina. We have a home base recording studio where we write and record the music of Sounds Like Rain. We run two YouTube channels. We homeschool our boys. And we just started a soap business. So we have a lot going on around here, don't we, Lindsay? Yeah, just listening to that sounds like a lot. And it makes me tired just thinking about it. Yes. Because we have so much going on, it's become more important for us to take our Sabbath rest this year. And that's something that we are learning about and beginning to practice and implement in our own family. We haven't really done a lot of rest in the past, have we? We've gotten really good at working hard. And we've gotten a lot accomplished in a lot of years that we've been as a family. But I believe the Lord now is wanting us to learn more how to rest. And especially rest in Him. That's right. Because Jesus really is truly our rest. It's always been important for us to rest. We've just never done that. It's just been like full on all the time, go, go, go. Some and people are better at resting than others in the family, but. <laughs> <laughs> so we have, to, we have to be intentional and make it happen. That's right. So today we want to dig into what Sabbath rest looks like for our family. And we'll reveal our new rest sanctuary, that being our master bedroom to you here at the end of the video. We've been working on it for about 10 weeks now. But first, a few quick announcements from the boys. So we just finished renovating this wing of the house and um, it's been a, we've been working on it for about 10 weeks, so it's been a pretty uh, long process. And uh, we took down a temporary wall that we had set up we got it all uh, finished out and it looks real nice. We're going to show you that at the end of the video. I've learned a lot from this project and I'm excited to learn more from some upcoming projects. Mom and Dad used to live in that bedroom. Then they moved down to their new bedroom. Some of us boys are moving from this bedroom over to this bedroom. That sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. You're going to have some more space now? Yeah. We'll show that in a little bit. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. So far we've released a bunch of songs from our Silo Sessions album. And we have another one for you today. Mommy and Daddy are singing in the Silo and we think you'll be blessed. The song is called Just As I Am. Make sure to go watch it when you're finished watching our vlog. <laughs> <laughs> you know I can smell each one. <laughs> what is it, Silas? What is it? <laughs> Thanks to everyone who ordered soap last time we released it. We sold out really, really fast because we didn't have very much inventory, but this time I have made probably three or four times as much as I had available the last time. And we have a couple new things that will be on the website, so be sure to check it out and hopefully if you didn't get some last time, you'll be able to place an order this time. So this time, the first 20 people to place an order, I will throw in a complimentary uh, smaller size bar of soap. It's a second size and so yeah, go ahead and place an order. Thank you very much. So we've taken on this house. It's a big project for our family. A brother from our church actually owns the house and we are fixing it up in exchange for a rent. So it's a win-win and we're really blessed to live here. So we finished the master phase and we'll move on to the kitchen phase. <sighs> it's been a lot of work. It has been a lot of work. And we were gonna jump right into the kitchen after finishing this new master. Um, and we're just rethinking that now. It seems a little unreasonable to try to jump into another giant project. So we're thinking we want to take a slower pace and we have a lot of other things to kind of wrap up around the house that we don't want to leave undone before we get into another big project. That's right. So when we say the word Sabbath or talk about Sabbath rest, it probably means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. And we're still on a journey of exploring and learning and 
um, unraveling the mystery of Sabbath in our own family. So we're on a journey with you and we're just going to share where we're at currently. We really want to get closer to the heart of God and dig into the scriptures and learn uh, what He intends for us and to yield ourselves to that. But we're not dogmatic about any of this. We just uh, want to be a blessing to you as you consider Sabbath rest for your own family. So the boys are going to read some scriptures about what Sabbath means and then we'll unpack that for you a little bit before we reveal the finished master bedroom project. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is within them. And on the seventh day he ended his work which he had done, and he rested on the seventh day, because his work was done. Then God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because in it he rested from all of his work which God had created and made. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall do no work. Now it happened that he went through the grain fields on the Sabbath. And as they went, his disciples began to pluck the heads of grain. And the Pharisees said to him, Look, why do they do what is not lawful on the Sabbath? But he said to them, Remember, the Sabbath was made for man, and not man for the Sabbath. Therefore, the Son of Man is also Lord of the Sabbath. As Jesus went into the synagogue, behold, there was a man who had a withered hand. And the Pharisees asked him, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath? Then Jesus said to them, What man is there among you who has a sheep, and if it falls into a pit on the Sabbath, will not lay hold of it and lift it out? Of how much more value, then, is a man than a sheep? Therefore it is lawful to do good on the Sabbath. So let no one judge you in food or drink or regarding a festival or a new moon or Sabbaths, which are the shadow of things to come, but the substance is of Christ. So in the Old Testament we learn that God created the Sabbath in the beginning and even He rested. And God wants us to honor Him by honoring the Sabbath. It's sort of like taking a nap. If you want to bless your parents, when they tell you to lay down and rest, you'll go get some sleep because it's actually good for you and it shows them that you care for them. Jesus, our King and High Priest, showed us three things. One, that the Sabbath is important, but not more important than our love for one another. Two, that the Sabbath was made for us. God gave it as a blessing to us. And the third thing is, is we learn that it is a good thing to do good on the Sabbath day. Finally, the Apostle Paul teaches us that we are not to judge anyone else based on the Sabbath. And he reminds us that the whole point of the Sabbath is to point us toward Christ, our true rest. We have really benefited from taking rest each week, haven't we, Lindsay? Yes, and we have. What's that look like for our family this past season? And what, is, what do we want it to look like as we move forward? Well, most recently we have been resting on Saturday and just taking that day to physically rest, to mentally rest, and just be uh, refreshed in the Lord. And um, yeah, that we need that, we need that. And especially with hard work, all these hardworking projects, I think it's been really good. And I suppose you could rest on any day of the week. We just feel that Saturday is the original Sabbath and it feels like a good day to rest for us because Sunday for us, uh, being in ministry at our local church congregation is a very busy, uh, day of service in our fellowship and we're very blessed by that but sometimes it feels like a lot of work so we don't really get any rest on Sunday even though for a lot of people it's supposed to be a day of rest so we rest on Saturday instead at least at this point and that's been a blessing for our family again we're not dogmatic about this and we do realize that many of you will probably be completely unsatisfied and disappointed with our approach and our answers either we are uh, too Sabbathy or not Sabbathy enough, and we apologize if we don't meet your your standards and your expectations. We're just doing the best we can with where we're at right now, and we hope that you'll be blessed by that. Does that a, is that a weird thing to say? We're just sharing our journey. I think we made it abundantly clear. Yeah. So you don't need to apologize. Okay. Yeah. And we won't. We make no apologies. 
So who's been missing from this video so far? Baby Elijah. Baby number six. Mm. And what's he doing? He is resting. He is resting in our new rest sanctuary. We, <laughs> I have a hard time calling it the master bedroom because I'm not a master <laughs> kind of guy. So we'll go sneak in on Elijah and hopefully find him sleeping. We'll reveal the new room to you now and have some closing thoughts for you in just a moment. up from your nap? You were sleeping for a long time. We want to show everyone on the vlog your new bedroom. You want to go back to Nine Night? Let's show them the new room, okay? You can have a snack. You want a snack? excited to finally reveal this finished room to you. It's mostly finished. We still have a few minor last details that we will need to address. We have like the face trim that we need to do around the doors and windows. And then also we have this old fireplace that we still need to deal with. But we'll get to that point eventually. As long as we've lived here, we've always referred to this part of the house as the scary room because we never used it and it was just really dingy and didn't want to be in here. But now um, it's been completely renovated. We had um, the floor completely gutted. We replaced all the walls. Everything's been rewired, new plumbing, and the bathroom has been completely re redone. Um, yeah, Bracken did a really good job in this bathroom with tile floor and we put in this um, old cast iron tub that was here with the house. We were able to reuse that. Also, he refinished this old dresser into a sink vanity. So that's a really neat feature as well. It just feels really nice. I just am really thankful and been enjoying using it just the past few days. And over here we have the little baby room, which is full of nice bright windows. Yeah, it's just a really cheerful little space. We have Noah and Elijah in here still. Super thankful. We've never had this much room ever, ever. <laughs> so it's, it almost feels like too much, but we're thankful for it. As long as we've had children, we've either lived in a camper or a tiny house. So this house is just enormous for us, but it really suits our family and we're thankful for the space. All right, boys, come on in. Let's see what you think of it. Yay! It has been a lot of hard work and we hope you guys have enjoyed joining us on the renovation journey. We will have more house renovations to share with you and more importantly, more scriptural insights and encouragement along the way in the coming weeks and months. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and if you will, head on over and check out our latest music video. I'll leave it right here for you to watch and boys, what do you have to say to everyone? So, so go out, make a difference.
serve the Lord with all your heart. And be sure to get some rest. We'll see you next time. God bless you.